We back. Episode 10 of Overlord. And y'all know what time it is. Seb is about to get grilled by Iron because Solutions is a snitch. I hate snitch characters. I hate coward characters. I hate Usopp. This is give me a rant to talk about how much I don't like Usopp. I do not like Usopp. I hate him. And if he pass in the, in the final arc, I'll be happy with that. Come at me. <laughs> Let's get into it. I have brought her, my lord. Come in, Duari. I wish to see Sebus's human pet with my own eyes. Good. You didn't run. What solutions even even here? here? On your no. Control spells are unnecessary. I will permit her in decorum as a sign of respect for her bravery. I am mine, Zulgon. You would do well to remember it, for I am the master of everyone here, including Sebis. <laughs> All right. Now then, Sebis, I thought I instructed you to avoid drawing attention. Yes. Mm -hmm. Nonetheless, you have courted calamity for the sake of this no-account woman. Am I wrong? Forgive me, Lord Irons. I am deeply sorry that my indiscretion has caused you trouble. Nothing like this will happen again on my watch. You have my word. Enough. Everyone makes mistakes, including me. Be at ease. This blunder is trivial, so I will forgive it. Trivial. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. I am most grateful. However, you must still make amends for your error. Kill her. My Lord, is that necessary? Are you a loyal dog that serves me, the 41, or a stray that follows its own will? Think hard before you answer. Well, I... Not with the words, fool. Show me through your actions. Poor girl. She just accepted it. Pico kind of stepped through. Hold up, bro. Step away, <laughs> Hold up. Right? What? Kokaitis, would you say he deliberately put enough force into that attack to kill this girl? Without a doubt, Lord. In that case, I take it as undeniable proof that Sebus's loyalty is genuine. Mm -hmm. This pleases me to no end. What? <laughs> now, let's move on to the next topic. After an in-depth assessment. I believe you've gathered sufficient information. I've decided to vacate this mansion and return to Nazrik. As for the fate of the woman, give me some time. I do not think death will be necessary, but I'm not yet certain of it. Demiurge, I will be taking victim back with me. Right. Greater teleportation! There had to be Pandora's actor. All of this has taken a toll on her. I think it would be best if she returned. No way it wasn't. Since there's no longer an issue, I will escort her there myself. With your permission, of course, Lord Demiurge. I suppose. Do what you must, Sebus. I do not intend to apologize. Me? I don't need it either. All right. About a backhand oh, solution. <laughs> Rise. I believe that went well. How about you, Demiurge? Have your anxious thoughts been abated? I, for one, never questioned Sebus's loyalty to me or Nazarek. Yes, Lord, I am satisfied. And I am deeply sorry for my lack of faith. Despite your trust in him, you granted my request to test his loyalty, and it's greatly appreciated. It's no matter. I have oversights as well. Now, you wish to discuss how to deal with that human woman, Sebus. I do. I assume you worry that she could leak information about Nazarek when she's been released. Then, after her memories are rearranged, you may provide her with coin and relocate her. If I may, killing her would guarantee our safety, my lord. No, I'm not one who resorts to homicidal acts when it gains me nothing. Thank you! Understood, lord. In that case, what if I put her to work in my stockyards? Hmm. Yes, that could work nicely. If I may, Lord. Hmm. 
What is it, Zealous? There is another solution. I would like to put the girl to work in the great tomb of Nazareth, if you're willing. Uh-oh. I'll ask you the same thing I asked Okaidas recently. Will taking her in benefit me in any way? Yes. Tuari is an exceptional cook. Since only a few in Nazareth possess that skill, adding her to our number will help lighten the load, if only a little. Hold up. Indeed. A few of y'all can cook? Considering that very point. But Lord, are we certain this stray human can prepare food worthy of Nazareth? Tuari seems well versed in cooking household fare. Whether or not it's worthy, I couldn't say. I, for one, believe something as common as steamed potatoes has no place in the tomb. I oh. can't help but think you're being too hasty in your judgment. If she is skilled with holy meals, then she is capable of mastering other forms of cooking. We should look to the future. In that case, I would like her to help with the cooking at my stockyard first. Making mincemeat... Don't give him no, no control. I would be against that. Her talents Come on, over it. We put farming the rare drop from Cert the Fire Giants on the guild calendar a few days ago. How could you forget? You're the one who's forgotten, Touch. We still have several members who need to complete the Ice Dragon Hunt event so that they can unlock the ability to change classes. Yes, but Cert's drop rate is much lower than the Ice Dragons. It'd be far more efficient to take care of it first. <sighs> Unbelievable! You can be such a spoiled freaking brat sometimes. Look who's talking, Mr. Powell. This is literally how me and my crew be on our. Ice Dragon is much more trying to assign blame. Shut up already. We are in the presence of the Lord Ines. Pardon us, Lord. We were careless. Our foolish behavior was inexcusable. <laughs> I do not mind. Please be at ease. I miss bickering like this. <laughs> do miss his friends. Inhibit it again. <laughs> I'd like to speak to Tuari once more. Bring her here. Right away. I'll just be a moment. She looks familiar. Thanks for coming. I have some questions. But know that if your answers are untruthful or unsatisfactory, we are done. You will lose your memories. First, tell me your full name. Okay. It's to our Nina Veron, Lord. Hmm. You don't say. All right then, to our Nina. Is your desire to go to the great tomb of Nazarene, to live among the inhuman there? I am willing to give you great wealth and send you to a land far away from here, should you prefer it. I wish to stay with Lord Sevis. Very well. My servants, I have decided. Lord! In the name of Ainz Ulgo, Tuari Nina is now under my protection. You will be welcomed as my guest, and want for nothing. Thank you very much, my lord. If you allow it, I would like to be put to work on if that is your wish, All right. so be it. Henceforth, you shall work directly under Sebus as a provisional maid. At the same time, Sebus will step down from his role as leader of the ladies. The youngest of the seven sisters, Oriol Omega, will take his place. Yuri Alpha will be deputy leader. Also, please inform everyone in the tomb that I have personally staked the great name of Ainz Ul Gold on Tuari Nina's safety, and that you will work alongside them from this day forward. She's going to work with the people who hate her the most. My decision. Not in the least, Supreme One. Then to confirm, all the centuries posted in this mansion will return to Nazarek at once. Sebus, solution. Prepare to withdraw. Thanks <laughs> to some acquaintances. We could be gone for some time. All right. Keep an eye on things while we're gone, Tuari. I will. Don't worry. Look at the hate in her eyes, bro. Eight finger slave trade division. Not too shabby. I think we should alter our plan. We'll launch simultaneous raids and take down all of their strongholds at once. If we wait too long, we'll be at a disadvantage. Well, yeah, but I thought we were short-handed. Can we pull it off? I'm fairly certain the nobleman I'm meeting will be eager to lend a hand. They're here, princess. Whoa. I was surprised to receive a summons from you, and intrigued. It certainly piqued my interest as well. So I decided to tag along. I trust you, mind. Oh, brother. Thank 
thank you for coming so quickly. I would like to ask for advice. My advice? Really? I believe that no one in all the court is better versed in these matters than you are, Marquis Raven. She's smart. Minna. I can have something sweeter made. There's no need. I'm sure we'd all like to avoid any of these chatty palace maids seeing us together and reporting it back to their families. Shall we dispense with the pleasantries and talk about what you really want? Don't ask for too much. <laughs> the Marquis may be one of the six great nobles and a member of the noble faction, but he has his That's own... That's too much sugar, sugar, bruh. Straight to the point, then. Since you've been working with the royal faction in secret, I'd like you to mobilize the military. Uh. True, it might have been better to bring this request to the three great nobles who are publicly aligned with the royal faction. Sadly, one of them, Marquis Bloomrush, is a traitor and has been feeding information to the Empire. Just a moment, Princess Renair. You knew, right? Of course, the shameless opportunist would never be caught uninformed in these dire times. How else would you manipulate the factions to keep the kingdom intact? That is why you restrict the information that flows his way so he never learns anything important. Masterfully done, by the way. You live like a bird in a gilded cage up here. How do you know this? I get bits of information and fill in the blanks. The maids do love their gossip. You truly are a monster. <laughs> in the sweat that come down his neck. Very well, then. I suppose we can drop all pretense. If that's okay with you, Prince. <laughs> but before we do, I would like to speak with the real Princess Renair, please. <laughs> Magnificent! It's better than I thought. I remember seeing those eyes when you were still a child. You've just been putting on an act? I was until I had been fulfilled. You mean that boy Clive? Yes, indeed. I'd marry him if I could. So while I was at it, I'd love chaining him up and keeping him all to myself. What joy I would feel. Keep. Poor Clive. I see. It's an obsession, not love. I am in love with him. I adore his eyes and the way they look at me. Not to mention the way he follows me around like a loyal dog on a leash. So sorry. I'm quite confused. Uh -uh. I don't need you to understand, dear brother. As long as you know that I am fond of Clive and love him more than anything, that is enough for me. But Clive is just a commoner. Marriage is impossible. Out of the question. I'll deal with you. Support my ascension, and I'll make sure you get hitched. I'm in. That was quick. The moment I saw you, brother, I wanted nothing more than to bring up that subject. On that note, I have another request for you, Marquis Raven. I'm listening. Unless I'm mistaken, you are father to a young boy? Yes, he just turned five. I would like for him to be my betrothed. <sighs> no! I will die before I give my boy to a woman like you! Damn! Please, excuse my outburst, Highness. Would you mind telling me your reasons, Princess? I'm sure you figured it out. You plan to marry my son, but actually have your children with Clyde. Then my son could have children with whichever woman he loved, and they'd be successors. Does that sum it up? You're yep. really proposing this right in front of me? Sure. Better now than later, don't you think? I hear yeah. you plan to go up against eight fingers. I would like to strike at them before they burrow too deeply, but I need soldiers. Where will you be attacking? Seven locations. The problem is that each of them are in territories owned by different noblemen. If we could uncover evidence that ties them to eight fingers, I could use it to exert pressure and make the nobles compliant. Or we could find something during the attack. That's why I don't like noble factions. Hides a secret. Also, sister, I have an important question to ask you. You are aware that our beloved older brother is also taking money from eight fingers, right? <gasps> Not brother Barbara. This could be our opportunity to depose him. We should definitely consider a constructive stronghold in your plan of attack. Taking out eight targets is obviously better than seven. As for soldiers, I will send my own guardsmen and faction military. Though even with adequate numbers, the real question is whether we can hold our own against the adamantite members of six arms. If needed, I can call in a few favors from the adventurer's guild. He's here! Who's here? I think this gentleman can handle six arms. <laughs> oh. 
That took longer than I expected. Yeah, you had what you needed. Oh, at least we know the grain is secure. We can return to Nazareth without issue. Tori! Tori, are you here? There are a number of scratch markings around the front door's keyhole. Unless we have three foot tall rodents, someone must have picked the lock. Eight fingers. Tori's been kidnapped, and I'm going to get her back. They have left instructions to meet them at a particular time and place. I wonder if that's the best course. Look, I just mean you should inform Lord Irons before you go. Or have you already forgotten that he swore to protect that human girl of yours? You started this. Report this to Lord Irons for me. Tell him the situation and ask what we should do about it. <laughs> Yes, I hear you, Lord Ines. Is there some way that I might serve you? I just got a message from Solution, or rather from Sevestura. Apparently the woman he took in, Tuari, has been abducted. I am occupied at the moment. Put together some forces to back Sevis up. Forgive my insolence, Lord. You know I wouldn't object without good cause. But I fail to see the value All of these body pillows to save an inferior creature. No value. <laughs> I swear her safety on the great name of Ives will go. My word is the most valuable thing I can offer. Is that clear? If not, I'll spell it out for you. Tell him. This affront cannot be allowed to stand. Even if they were unaware of my word, they will atone for it. Tell him. Sorry. I have received your orders. There is nothing you need to apologize for, my lord. The fault was mine entirely. The girl will be rescued, and I will personally make sure these fools regret their fault. No need for that. You organize them, and Demiurge will command them on site. All right. Still, I don't understand. Ains will go. Ridiculous. She's not happy at all. She's not happy at all. Everybody having woman problems today. <laughs> What is called Sevis, Irons, does everybody have a woman problems? I'll see y'all in the next one. I'm out.